The Mexicans rely heavily on our state for resources and services. Some are even court ordered to take part in various state programs. But this summer, a 31 year old man died at a state operated facility in Berlin. For investigator Brittany Costello discovered some odd circumstances, though, surrounding his death that could impact every single person putting their trust in our state systems. A care facility that looks impenetrable, sealed from the inside out. Go, go. Where's he at? He's on the right, on the right, on the right, on the right, on the left. No one who lives here Come on, Lopez. is free to leave. He's monitored 24 7. Right. It's a locked facility. But even tucked away on a quiet dirt road in Belen, <laughs> the people who live here are vulnerable to danger from the outside and from within. Once some of the information put out, this is the only house of its kind in the state, a court ordered facility for people with intellectual disabilities who are dangerous and found incompetent to stand trial. According to police reports, there were just three people living at this care facility last Memorial Day. They were out fishing. When 31 year old resident Jacob Lopez told workers a car drove by and threw out a bag of meth that he ate. Lopez was developmentally disabled, living with numerous health conditions and a criminal past. Hours later, he collapsed and stopped breathing. Does he have a pulse? But the state supervisor never even mentioned meth to first responders. This morning, he was good, sir. We went fishing. Uh, really we got back for lunch. He ate lunch. lunch. He helped us clean the house. He came out here and did some walking. And they didn't complain of anything? No, sir. These employees are part of a much larger group of 170 caregivers in Valencia County Group Homes. But supervision here? is more intense. These are the guys that come from prison. Training documents we obtained require one-on-one -on -one staffing for clients like Lopez, and they require line of sight supervision. Lopez's death might have seemed like an accident to deputies, but Department of Health policy requires an internal review, and state investigators gave Valencia County Sheriff's deputies a warning. No story lined up exactly the same. And we've been doing this long enough, and when we start seeing that, there's obviously something else going on. Jacob Lopez is assigned staffer that day, said other state employees used corporal punishment to punish him for lying about taking meth while he was fishing. Call back, kind of hysterical, kind of like almost cry screaming. They made him, you know, run, they forced him to do this. The staffer said state caregivers made Lopez clean, move furniture, and run outside in the heat for hours. Did he die? Best way, yes. Investigators even took reports that Lopez collapsed outside and workers carried him inside before calling 911. He'd actually saw staff carry him in from outside and put him in his room and he appeared to be what was already dead. According to his autopsy, Lopez did overdose on meth, but state records showed no recent visitors and DOH investigators say no recent calls. Only a shined up story for his grandmother about his final hours. Department of Health officials refused to sit down with us, citing privacy concerns and protected health information. Protections they claim extend to DOH employees and really anything related to care at that facility. A spokesperson did confirm they investigated and have since handed off this case to New Mexico State Police. While this is the state's only intermediate care facility right now, DOH officials say they are looking to open a six bed center in Los Lunas. Brittany Costello for Investigates.